we're going to start off by talking about, about skin aging and what causes it. And, and there's really mainly two factors. There's intrinsic factors that cause aging and there's extrinsic factors. And intrinsic factors basically are genetics. So, you know, when, when at the moment that, that you're conceived, when the, when the sperm hits the egg, that there's a, you know, a genetic plan for you. And uh, that obviously varies from, from one person to another. It has to do with everything from how much pigmentation uh, you inherit to things like skin cancer risk, but also y those, those intrinsic factors that, that, that genetic makeup pretty much determines from the get-go um, whether or not you're going to age gracefully or whether you're going to age quickly. And there's really not a whole lot that you can do to change that, although there are things that we can do to help people who are aging faster than they think that they should. And then the extrinsic factors, these are things that you can totally avoid. So these are uh, factors that uh, come from the outside that, that cause your skin to age. And probably, you know, the most important one is ultraviolet radiation. And ultraviolet radiation comes mainly from the sun, but it also comes from tanning beds. And we'll talk a little bit more about uh, photo protection a little bit later on. One of the new messages that, that we as dermatologists are trying to, to give our patients and, and, and the community at large is that going out every day with a lot of sunscreen on, I guess that's better than going out without sunscreen on, but really avoidance is the key. If you can not go out at all, then um, you know, that's probably better than somebody who's out at the beach every day. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't leave your homes, no. Well, well you can to come to my office, but other than... But, yeah, but, but really, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna spend too much time out in, in, in the sun. You really wanna try to minimize your sun exposure. And tanning beds are, are, are very, very bad for you. And that has been proven scientifically at this point. There was a study that came out two years ago that showed that people who routinely use tanning beds before age 30 have a 70% increase in their risk of melanoma. So almost double, all right? And that's, and you know, melanoma is potentially lethal. Melanoma can kill you. So, you know, why would you do that to yourself? Tobacco is another extrinsic causing, uh, cause of aging. And tobacco, there are many, many ways that tobacco prematurely ages your skin. Probably the first thing that I bet that comes to your mind is the wrinkles and the lines that people get around their lips, which they call smoker's lines. And you can actually get smoker's lines if, if, if you don't smoke. They, they call them smoker's lines. But definitely that action of continuously drawing on a cigarette is going to cause wrinkling around your mouth. But there's other ways that, that, that tobacco uh, prematurely ages your skin. You know, when you smoke, the oxygen level in your blood goes down, the carbon monoxide goes up, and, and your, your body needs that oxygen. Every tissue in your body needs the oxygen that's in your blood, and, and tobacco smoking robs that. Um, there are a lot of bad things in the smoke itself that comes out of the, the, the back of the cigarette that come in contact with your skin and, and cause prematurely aging, premature aging. Um, repetitive use of facial muscles. Now this is, this is you know, kind of funny. Um, when you see somebody who has you know, deeply etched lines in their forehead, what I tell patients in my office is think about that as being like a six pack forehead. So you, know, you look at, at people who, who are really cut, you know, the six-pack abs. Well, people have these lines etched in their forehead. Basically, they get them the same way that somebody who's exercising their midsection gets the six-pack in their abdomen. It's by re repeated use of, of those muscles. So the repeated contraction of those muscles actually is what causes those lines. And one thing that is, is something that's easy to do, and I know that we like to use our muscles of facial expression um, um, you know, to be expressive, it, you, you know, is to try and, and, and minimize that. And, and it's something that, that takes a little bit of, of, of self-training, but people who are doing this all the time, you know, and, and this all the time, people who are scowling, those are the people who end up with the deep lines. People who, to, and, and you know, you'll notice that when you smile, none of that happens. So, you know, so smiling is good. But, but you know, all of this deep, pensive, um, you know, tension in the forehead, that's what causes those lines and wrinkles up there. And if you can train yourself to not do that, then um, you'll have to, you, you know, you'll, you'll probably spend a little bit less money on Botox. Um, and, and then, you know, 
gravity goes without saying. Um, sleeping, I just want to mention for about two seconds. Some people get lines that go vertically from here down to their eyebrow. And those lines are caused by sleeping. So if you sleep on your side, then sometimes you can get these lines um, over in here. And the way to minimize that is to, you know, provided you don't snore too much, to sleep on your back. All right, so, but, but the reason that I have this next slide up is, is to just to kind of sort of show you and, and prove, you, to prove to you that, you know, your skin can look good um, at, at any age. And uh, you all probably recognize these two young ladies who have about uh, 40 years of longevity in between them. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I, I don't know, I like Char Charlie's angel better, better myself. Maybe it's generational because I grew up with her. If you follow some simple steps and, and you take care of your skin, and, and with a little bit of our help, you know, you can continue to look, look great even as you get older.